hey guys welcome once again to my probable youtube channel so in today's class i'm going to teach you this model and uh, actually it's a sweeped 3d model you can you can just find here actually it's a sweeped one and here they have given that profile uh, and seriously this is very easy for all the beginners who is going to try this uh, we're going to try and i'm going to start with this hollow cylinder it's given here 32 and its height is 44 so i'm going to make it a model go to extrude and go for top view and just make it 2d now draw a circle for of dia 32 and i'm going to extrude it to 44 actually this is 44 now I need to sweep the material for which I need to draw this uh, inside PCD you can find this fifth circle diameter is given as dia 122 and here they have given 120 so I'm going to draw a sketch choose any one either right or front plane and go for sketch immediately and now you can find here that the circle is from the center I mean it is at the midst of this so I'm going to draw one center line at the mid setting. I'm going to draw here one circle. Just go for construction move and just making this as tangent draw one line. Sorry, one circle and it is 122. So this is 122 divided by 2. 61 now draw another circle now just close it and draw the exact circle and here you can find that it's not a complete one I mean it's like a R so I'm going to draw a line here and from here it is going to be 120 so draw one line randomly and from this to this bottom is going to be 120 so remaining which i'm going to delete this segment so even you can delete this segment also because this is going to be just a sketch that's it so this is a sketch i've made now i'm going to select this sketch go for sweep so my sweep uh sweep profile starts here just go for sketch I'm going to draw a sweep material so this is my sweep material you can find R5 and it's center to center distance is actually 10 so I'm going to draw just before that I need to make it symmetry so draw a center line here and draw one circle and another circle is going to be 10 in circles diameter and center to center distance just make it symmetric first go to symmetric change this to symmetric and from here to here this is going to be 10 and go for a line tangent just make interconnect this both circles and delete unwanted segments now click ok so you can get that profile so this is the profile yeah this is the profile so just click ok now I need to draw one spherical round here this you can find here it is R12 spherical actually and it is extruded up to 12 so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select I'm going to make one plane here and just press control So here I'm going to revolve and take one 3D center line at this midst I'm going to draw one line and here I'm going to draw a circle think that this is actually R12 so I'm going to draw here R12 24 change this line and delete this segment 
just click OK. So yeah, it is fourteen actually. So I'm going for edit. I'm going to draw a line here and here Let's go for symmetry sorry just before that I need to draw one center line so take this as a reference draw one center line at this midst go for symmetric change this to symmetric and go for dimension from here is going to be 40 so now delete this segment now click ok so we have got this profile exactly as in the diagram now it is already selected so just go for mirror and just mirror it so my profile is ready it's extruded up to 14 this is what they have meant and here inside you can find one hole uh, this is actually two holes of dia 9 so I'm going to draw one hole here so now I'm going to give reference and draw one circle of dia 9 so I'm going to reverse it so it automatically removes the material so select this go for this mirror and mirror it yeah it's all ready now switch off the plane so you can find the product is ready here I'm going to uh, teach another operation that is how to make our uh, uh, customized hole so just making this kind of customized hole you need to go for hole command and here I'm going to sketch uh, inside which I'm going for sketcher so it opens into separate uh, file so here I'm going to draw one center line for making my reference and another 3d center line which is very important you can find here uh, the whole site is going to be 44 and uh, my smallest hole is going to be 24 and 28 so draw one line so this is going to be 24 and that 24 is going to be up to 44 height can find another a step hole here and it's actually 28 and it is from base it is 6 and its thickness is 2 mm so its thickness is 2 mm and from base it is 6 mm just go for this delete segment close this profile and this is going to be 28 now I'm going to connect this profile and click OK now I need to select the place where I need to insert it so I'm going to select this place and uh, here I'm going to plug this at this point and this one at this point so that it becomes mid so go for placement align it so you can find that hole just we have made in the sketcher sketcher module so you can find here so just click ok so my hole is ready so I've taught you today the how to make a spherical revolution according to the plane reference and the sweep command and this customized hole so it's very simple right 
and uh, so please do subscribe my channel for any simple complex videos i'll be teaching you all creo autocad and solidworks uh, and just thank you for seeing my video